So it's whenever Andy says, says whenever Andy says he's got Come a on, monster Andy. on, Paul, I always beat him by like five pounds. So. <laughs> <laughs> that means, oh, I mean, it's good stuff up. for me. Get him in? Yep, yeah, he's in. Why don't you clear that okay. one? Nice. And I got one on here, guys. I'm telling you, if these fish hold up on these flats, guys, we are going to cripple these fish right now. <sighs> You're watching Northeast Angling. We're proud to present inshore and offshore saltwater fishing. We cover every species from fluke and porgies to stripers, sharks, and tuna. You can learn more about techniques, tackle, and destinations at neangling.com. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. We're in Great South Bay, middle of October, and this is something we've been waiting for for a long time, the bunker to finally get back in these bays. I'm just amazed at how much is here, though. Yeah, you know, I got a call the other day from a buddy of mine. He said he had some quality fish up in here. We got bunker schools all around us. This is something that we typically do in the North Shore in the spring, and we miss it so much throughout the course of the summer because we lose a lot of them fish. But now they're in Great South Bay. I can see the bunker schools behind us. We're with Paul Mickley. Paul, you're no stranger to being with us fishing. Absolutely not, Rich. It's great to be up here with you and Andy again. Yep. Always a good time. You know, Paul, you know, we have a lot of, we really go at it. Let's just put it that <laughs> way. There's going to there's gonna be a lot of grinding in this show no matter what, because we love to get on each other's cases. Um, listen, I figure I'm taking you down a couple of pegs today. Uh, well, you know, you're kind of due for it, considering <laughs> how bad we, you got spanked last time. <laughs> <laughs> I you see that notice. I am out of this. So well, I'm, I'm just, just waiting. You're just buying your time. He's just taking the high on. ground. He's trying to take the high I mean, ground. The it's not going to work. I have the firm belief whoever dies with the most fish win, and you two are no exceptions. So I will run over both of you today. Yes, and it so. could be interesting. Well, you know, we got a lot of time ahead of us. It's good. The bite's just kind of coming on as the tide's turned here. It's bit, pretty bit much been a bite on the tide. And let's just try and get on a couple well, of good I'm schools looking and pull right, I'm looking right now at the starboard side of the boat midship. We have a big school of bunker. There's not another boat on it, so we can have that all to ourselves. That's key this time of season because you get a lot of boats on one school. The boat traffic knocks them down. That school's all by itself, and it's getting pushed. Andy, see it? Yeah, it's got some nice white in it. All let's right, roll so on enough that. Enough of this. Let's go. Let's go. All right, all you right. guys, I'll drive. You guys get ready to drive, snake Drive, first. drive, drive. One on. Fish on. There you go, Paul. Ooh, there we right, go, Rich. Right flavor? I think so. All right. Now, if you look around, we got bunker schools all around us. <coughs> There's a lot of different ways you could fish this. You could live line from a, from a fixed rod with a live bunker on already, flip them out, two hook rig, single hook rig. But what we're doing right now is we're just snagging them, Andy, and we're just letting them swim in the schools. And right now, I'm just trying to pull the net out because we should have done that already. Right now, I'm going to go for a little dance around the bow. Oh, I just got chased here. Walking back. Coming back up here. Get a look at him, Paul. Good fish. Uh, I haven't seen him yet, which is a good sign. But this is a, a very, very effective way to fish. And like I said, basically all we're doing is we're just snagging these fish and we're letting them swim in the schools. Come Andy, on, you and I boy. do this back on the North Shore a lot. This is one of the things I love the most. You know, the funny thing is, this is clearly one of those cases where you're not using your quote bunker snagging rod. Right. You got a rod that's set up just to do this. Yep. Got 30 pound braid, a really good reel with a big drag in it because these are big fish. And we're snagging and planning on catching on the same rod. Yep. Now, how many times you get on a boat and the guy's got, oh, it's my bunker snagging rod. It's like the oh, rod. Nice oh, fish. nice fish. That's solid. Okay, Paul, just lead his head in here in a moment. Not a problem. We'll net him up. Bubba. 
Yep. Oh, he got your whole trouble. Nice. Yeah, he engulfed that. Oh, not bad. Nice fish, boy. Good man. Rich, Rich. One nothing. Yes, I got the score. <laughs> I have the score, Paul. Nice. Nice net job. <laughs> nice net job. <laughs> Make him feel good, Paul. I like it. That's I'll good. I'll tell you, usually you don't see him get these trebles this deep, but no, he's this one managed to. And what we're going to actually do here, Paul, want I want you to just cut this. Where's your pliers? Uh, right back over there. Yep, hang on. And these are pretty, pretty sure, fish. Right these just don't get any more beauty. Cut right yeah, up at the swivel. Want to cut it right here? Yeah. Cut the no, right, no, cut the swivel. Cut it to mono. There you go. Okay, just pull the treble out, if you would. Might There's have already fallen that. out. Got it. Got it. Not to make you feel bad, Paul, but that's probably a little bit below the average size fish you'll see here. I that's think nice we're going to see some bigger ones, but that's still, all in all, any beautiful fish. Right? Great start. Hey. I'm going to get them back in the water. Sounds we'll good. We'll take it any day. Go ahead. Why am I doing all the work on this fish? Because I'm used <laughs> to doing it. Uh, this guy's ready to go already. You know, Andy, we've seen a couple. Um, oh, there you go. There it is. Seen a couple breaks out of the corner of our eye. We came down here. We said, you know what? I'm picked up too. There's some flats here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, I'm in. It says some flats here. And switch, we said, switch, 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 switch. Let's swim a couple live ones up in here. As soon as we got these baits in the water, guys. Bam. You know what? We were fishing in about 17 feet of water, working the same bunker school. Oh, I got a nice Again bit, guys. and nice again bit. and again, and we just weren't picking up fish. We'd run off here, run off there. We, we moved down, just got to totally different. Look at this fish. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Net, I guess I owe you one. <laughs> Hang on. All right, Rich, switch with me. Yeah, I'm right behind you. We're going to need a net here, Paul. I'm Paul, on you way. just went to net duties, by the way. Yeah, and yeah, just, I hear you. You may just want to pull your rod out of that holder. He who has, <laughs> I hear you. He who has no fish on must net fish. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. Or knock them off. <laughs> ah, baby this doll. This is a great South Bay bass at its best. Look at this fish, Rich. You got a good one? Yeah, yours might be better, though. <laughs> Coming around you. All I know is whenever, Andy, feet says, overhead. whenever Andy says he's got Come a on, monster Andy. on, Paul, I always beat him by like five pounds. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that means, oh, I mean, it's good stuff for me. You get him in? Yep, yeah, he's in. Why don't you clear that okay. one? Nice. And I got one on here, guys. I'm telling you, if these fish hold up on these flats, guys, we are going to cripple these fish right now. <sighs> Rich, how you doing? I'm Ready? right here, buddy. I'm right here. All right, fish, I'm fish, fish. Okay, here you go. Clear. Definitely a solid fish. Come on around. Ooh, baby doll. Absolutely beautiful. I love this game. And you know what? For a change, you actually got a bigger fish. I got the bigger fish. What'd you do? <laughs> Mickley hooked my hook on the net. All right. Here, hey, look, he's lifting it in like Andy. Hey. <laughs> That's it. Trying to lift it in. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You know what? Finally, somebody listens. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? Oh, no. He actually lost my fish. <laughs> what fish? What fish? The fish that was in the net that you Gentlemen, just turned out. Gentlemen, I don't see a fish. That's all right, he just lost his too. <laughs> guys, it's a good thing we're not eating these fish, guys, because if we were, we wouldn't have much food. There'd be a lot of potatoes tonight, <laughs> let me tell you. Mickley just threw my fish off. Andy dropped his in the water. I released mine you released normally. All I, know normally. Is, all I know is, I want to let that fish go anyway, but all I know is I did touch the leader, so it does count. Actually, he was in the net. He was <laughs> in the I net. Didn't say anything. I, wow. That was just wrong. <laughs> Visit the Northeast Angling website at neangling.com for nationwide saltwater charter directory, fishing news, and free fishing reports. You can also find dozens of techniques, tips, and tackle for every saltwater species. Now let's get back to the action. That's why I step back. <laughs> Fish on. I think we, I'm afraid we might have to bleep that though. <laughs> <laughs> at least we got it. At least we know where it is where you can bleep it, right? I'm sorry, I just get a little excited when I do this. Oh, that was Whoa, good. Baby doll. Oh man, I love fishing. Fishing is fun. Did I ever say that before? Look at that. Paul, right, I'll take, I'll get this. I'm Paul. You, you sure? Yeah, you yeah, I'll help? take, Paul, I will, I will definitely take care of this. Hang on, Rich, I'm going to take my bait out of there yeah, and throw it back where the fish are. Yeah, do that. But now, Paul, you stay where you are and I'll handle this fish on my own. I appreciate all your help before. I, I, I don't mind, really. I know you don't, I know you don't. Wow. Live lining is probably the most exciting way. Bring him way. right over here. Move to your left. Five, what's the matter? I'm going to come and help you. 
Really? Unlike the other guy. <laughs> Are you, you're not gonna, you're not gonna mickley this fish. No, I won't. Oh. Don't be mickley. I mean, jealous, I've never seen such jealousy before. It's a nice fish. Not too bad. Bring his butt over here. I could do that. Oh, baby. Both hooks. Not one oh, swing. Oh, you be mean careful. there's a spare, another hook swinging around in here? Yeah, be careful. Yeah. Oh. I like to see what I hook, Andy. That's challenging. <laughs> I like that to see. That makes it challenging. I like to see what I hook. You know, you hooked him beautifully. Do you have him? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Woo, baby! Here we go. Is that mine? Are you here? Am I, am I way over here? Right there, Great South Bay, striped bass. Oh, look at these dangling style. I love this game. Well, you better get that fish back in quick, because I got another one coming here. Yeah, you working with it? Yeah, I got one coming here. Are you beating? Nah, I did, just, just chasing him, chasing him. Just far back as I did for Rich. Nice fish. I'm going to let this one good. go, guys. I'm going to drop him right Send in. Him. Send him. See ya. No reviving necessary, because he took off like a rocket. Dorsal fin was up. Nice. Uh, I'm gonna get back in the game here, boys. Come on. Oh, did actually... you see that? Did you watch that? I, I, I missed it. I, I you seen you swinging a couple and missed, so I figured if you, you know, you got a good look at that. We uh, caught that oh, fish in almost the exact same spot on the edge of that bar, and I am just getting out of the, out of range of that. We're gonna make one more move and slide back up into it. We'll make a lot more than one more move, but <laughs> <laughs> but let's slide let's slide back up because we're sliding off the bar into deep water. Let's roll up. Come on. Don't, thing, don't guys, drop in yet, Rich. Three and a half feet of water, guys. Okay. We really use two outfits today. When we're snagging bunker. We want an outfit that lets us pitch a 10-0 treble with no weight on it because we want to keep that treble high in the water column where the bait is. So one of the things we have to do is make sure that we use a reel loaded with like a fire line, 30-pound fire line is our choice, because that thin diameter is going to give you the casting distance. The other thing it lets you do, because that line is no stretch, is we can use a rod like a 6 foot 6 Travala, and this is a very light rod that's really strong and it's perfect for hooking up and fighting a fish. Well, it's also perfect for snagging bunker, Andy. Yeah. You know, because when you make that cast over the bunker, well, as that fire line sinks down, you see the vibration in the line, let you know when to snag, especially you, when they're down deep. You feel every little thing. Yep. And really, to finish up the rig, what we do is we have the 10-0 treble, and we've got about a three-foot length of 50-pound Yazuri disappearing pink floral. This acts as a shock leader, also protects us from the gills of the fish, and also if we want to handle a fish at both sides, it gives us a yeah. chance to wrap into it. And that's how we really determine the length. What, what, pound, what pound barrel swivel is that? And that's just a little 80-pound uh, mustad rolling swivel, which is perfect. Just an easy connection from our fire line to our floor. Yeah, pretty much the same connection as we used on the conventionals. I mean, this is a Torium 16. It's on a talus rod, ready for 20 to 40 pound test, 30 pound mono. Now again, we had braid on the spinners, but I still, and I think you do also, on the conventionals like the mono, because you need a little bit of forgiveness every now and then when you're live lining. Plus again, when you're fishing a treble, you're pretty much engaged. Yes. So you're hitting that fish right away. With the monofilament, you're gonna let that fish run a little bit. Right. So you want a little bit of forgiveness. One of the problems when you let fish run, a lot of times if you're fishing near structure, there's a very good chance that line could get on the structure. Yeah. And the mono is gonna get you out of that. Yeah. You might fry it, but you're not gonna nope. break it. That's true. And basically all we used was a, uh, it's a 9-0 octopus style hook. Yeah. This is a mustad hook also. And just a regular Snell again with 50 pound test floral and 80 pound test swivel. Yeah, and you know, the other thing that's important about that hook, which we really like, is it has a very tough point. Yeah. Yep. You know, some hooks have a very fine point, which have great penetrating power, but they just don't stand up. In fact, yeah. we've turned those points, especially in some of these bigger fish, like on a gill plate, and that point never turns. No, you can't turn that hook. And that's one thing you always want to be aware of. And what you can do is just take the tip, and you can see, I can almost write my name on my fingernail with this. That's how sharp this hook is, and that's right out of the box. You know, these are two outfits you probably always want to use. You know, you've got a snagging outfit, and when you're not snagging, that's a swimming outfit. I agree with you. It's nothing to do with the angler. No. <laughs> Fish on! Of course not. Oh, freight train, baby. Oh, Mickley, what's on, Richie? What is no. the score now, Mickley? Uh, oh. Take your foot back to Florida. Take your foot back to Florida with this crap. <laughs> let me tell you now. Oh. You got the little ones. I'd say three, three, one. But. <laughs> Whoever dies with the most fish wins. <laughs> Come on, baby. Well, drifting down through the tail of this rip was certainly a good idea, and that's one of the things you always got to look for. Yep. You yep. find a rip. We were on a shallow flat. There's a good rip here. We could see it. We could see a couple of breaks in it, a couple of bunker coming through it. We came down here. We put our baits in, and sure enough, hooked up a nice fish. It's a better fish, too, guys. Yeah. Yep. Looks like it. You want, me to net, you want me to net that one yeah, again for you, Andy, if you don't mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is some bite up in here. Let me tell you. You know, typically this bite, I would say, starts... What's today's date, Annie? Low tip for a moment, Rich. What's today's date, Annie? Oh, uh, I don't know. It's a 
17th, 18th, something like yeah, that. And I never these, these quite fish know will the stay day. up in here for you know for a good month now. <laughs> I never as, quite know the day. As long as this bait stays up in here, these fish are going to be here. Hey, Rich, wow, you got, guys, this is a big oh, fish. Nice fish. You got that two hook rig on, Rich? Of course. All right, I'm using the knife. This is a big fish, guys. This is a nice fish right here. It's a quality, quality fish. There you go, Paul. Excuse me. Hop on in there. Nice. Come to Papa, baby. Oh, yeah, that's a brick. That's nice. nice. And fish. I'll take that. Woo. Oh, and he's in it. Beautifully done, Andy. Solid. Uh oh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. That's a haymaker. Nice. Oh, three nothing. Three one, Rich over Nickley. What? <laughs> What's the score? Three, one, three, one. Oh. Now, in this scenario, even with the double hook, it didn't matter because he's got them both, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no sign of hooks anywhere. <laughs> I didn't even let that fish run at all, really. He picked it up, Paul, and he bolted right at me. But that is a nice, quality, quality, great South Bay. Oh, striped bass. <laughs> look at that, huh? What a beautiful fish. Tell you what, these uh, fish have that fall look to them. They're starting to eat. They're finally starting to get a little bit bigger and yeah, fatter. Yeah, the belly. Starting and to get I'll that you, belly. You know, every year they pull a few 50s out of here, too. What's up with that radio? Somebody shut that radio off. I got that, Rich. You know, every year they pull a, a few big 50s out of here, a lot of fish in the high 40s. This is the time, and it just started, you know? And I'll, I'll tell you, Andy, we're going to bring this Triton. This Triton's up here for a few weeks now. Oh, uh, we're going to leave and, it here for a bit and, and, and you take and I, advantage you and I of this bite. Definitely, definitely. Hey, oh, definitely going to come job. back and do this. Let's send That's that guy on his way. Yeah, I'm going to let this fish go. Oh, let me get him. I want to put him the opposite way the air lines. OK. Yeah, put him on the back side. Get him in the water. Peek around. I'm oh. sure we're going to see another couple of fish come up, up here. Like a rock. I'm going to redo this drift again. Visit the Northeast Angling YouTube channel for hundreds of videos, including full-length episodes, exciting clips, product reviews, and instructional videos. And now, the exciting conclusion of Northeast Angling. Couldn't keep him down, Paul. Could be, yeah. the could be the last fish of the day. You could know be, what? Could be the best fish of the day, too. And it's got some weight. <laughs> you know? Red shift, he, beat shift onto me here. He almost had an offer. You know? No, no, I already, no, I only caught two fish. One. Did he get one? He did get I got one. two fish. Two? two? Yeah. Two? I didn't see two. I didn't, I well, didn't you guys nowhere are really two? sleeping. What, what are we counting, bluefish and bunker now? Well, I guess bunker. <laughs> yeah, I guess you got this wrong. But you, you guys cleverly forgot about my other fish. What other fish? What other fish? <laughs> Wait a minute, the other fish. I already caught a bass, yes or no? What, yesterday? When you had one. yours, we had a double header. Right, Where that's were you? one. That's, that's one. Too. All right, there so you this go. Is that your third? I think it is. It feels oh, like my third. <laughs> Maybe it's big enough for two, but it, it, it may not be. But uh, again, look at this now. Sun's going down. Maybe one or two boats left in the area. Look at the sun. Look at the sun going down. All right, Paul, where are you? I'm That's coming terrible. out from underneath the air so okay. we don't get tangled. Right. It's a nice, it's a nice looking fish, guys. Is it? All right. Yeah, hopefully Paul. he brought some brothers in there. <laughs> Paul's <laughs> going to get the net for you in a minute. I got it. Then we'll be back down to one. Paul, we'll get the net for you in a second. Uh, dang it. Well, you I'm know what? Either way, this is a pretty shot with yeah. the sun going down. What bridge All is right. that, Rich? Oh, hang on. I think you're wrapping the, the line net. here. No, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Hang on here. Hey, uh, Rich, where'd you... There it is. It's, hey, guys, the quality fish right here. Oh, come on. No, I'm serious. It's a quality fish. A guppy. I might give him one and a half now. <laughs> oh, give man. him a little shake when you get him in the net pool, all right? A little shake. <laughs> there we go. You got him? Yeah. Well, that's going to be a very nice way to end this day, guys, let me tell you. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah. And I'm not sure but if I set the pool or not. It's going to be close, though. No, I think you did. I think that's yeah, the I best... Think you may have. I think that's the best fish in there. That Although, is a fat one. I guarantee you it's not your third. No. <laughs> but it is a beautiful thing. It felt fish. like my third. <laughs> Where was I all day? Unfortunately, we got to give it to Rich. Living vicariously yeah. through my rod. This way he was. Whoa. Oh, boy. He's oh. Oh. We're going to let him go again. <laughs> what, did you skip breakfast again? <laughs> the last I, time I saw you. Oh. I'll give you a help there, Bob. I'll give you a pass with the black trunk. That was 20 pounds heavier. <laughs> no, this is, a, this is a really good looking fish. It is. That's a beautiful fish. And pack. I'll tell you what, he's healthy. And he's going back. You know, guys, not you know, not for nothing. This is not even really our backyard. We don't fish here that much, but it just shows you how easy it could be. Yeah. You know, I mean, we came down here pretty much on a report that there were bunker schools around. I had a buddy of mine had a few fish the other day, and you know, it, it's not a long ride to get here. You could trail a wiki trail here, Andy, over Captree. Yeah, actually, Captree. We went out at uh, I think Tanner's Park. Tanner's Tanner Park. Park. And you know, just 
Easy access. I mean, you know, 20, a lot of fish. 21 foot Triton, ideal. You know, I've been, we've been watching guys in 15 foot skiffs. We've been watching guys in aluminum boats, you know, everybody catching their share of fish. I mean, this is a great fishery. Nobody should, you know, really look into this this time of season. And you know what? If this is a fishing report fishery, the moment you hear the bunker in Great South Bay, you get on, you yeah. get on your butt, you get down here, and you catch some fish. Yeah. Traditionally, right. it's always the end of October, first oh. couple of weeks of November, but you know, that's the beauty, Andy. That's you solid. may want to revive him for a second. Yeah, it's going to take a bit. Thank you for watching. You can use the buttons below to subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch more videos, or to learn more about the location, techniques, and gear as seen in this video.